Hey guys, thank you for joining me today. I am participating in a collaboration put together by Sweet Pea Farm NY. I will link a playlist below so you can see all the other participants' videos. And um, basically it was it's about how as a homesteading mom how you are able to get everything done. Now I just had um, laparoscopic abdominal surgery done just a couple of days ago, so I'm really sore and not feeling awesome. Um, so this is a good time to talk about this as I am not able to get out and get everything done. So, um, and that, that's kind of the first thing. I don't get everything done. There's always things that just don't get done. Um, and knowing that part of the reason, the big part of the reason that uh, we live this way is for our children. I really want them to know where their food comes from, to be able to raise their own food and take care of themselves and things like that. So that's important that we include them in all of the homesteading chores and things that we do so that they have that knowledge and understanding for themselves. So it's not just us telling them, it's they have hands-on experience doing all these things. So I have done a lot of winging it type stuff. Um, I've never been one that's very big on schedules, but I felt like too many things were not getting done, too many balls were getting dropped, and so a big part of how we get a lot of the stuff done that we get done is a schedule. I have a schedule that we use whenever we are um, doing our schooling, so during our school season, because we homeschool, I homeschool our four children, um, and those schedules have really helped. We're not super crazy stickler to it. It's not like 1 p.m. brush your teeth, 105, you know, um, that's not how it goes. But it does help give us time blocks where in those time blocks certain things need to be done. And it's a little bit different depending on what day it is because um, certain days we have certain other activities we go do. So um, what's on that schedule will just depend on the day. But basically give you a quick rundown of what that might look like is we get up in the morning, we go read scriptures, say morning prayer, kids out, go outside and do their morning animal chores, they water and feed everybody, um, then they come inside, get dressed and washed up, we have breakfast, right after breakfast we have what we call after breakfast chores, so it's usually quick simple things like get the dishwasher unloaded, get the table cleaned off and wiped down just so that the kitchen is ready for lunchtime, and then we do school, we do school until lunch, and we are very fortunate. Um, our children are all close enough in age that it totally works to do some of our curriculum with all of us together, kind of like family school style. So our history and our science are currently done all together as a family group. Even my little five-year-old likes to come in and participate. And since Ruben, who is almost 12, is in a higher grade kind of bracket, then there are things that he can do in addition to those lessons that um, make it a little bit more grade appropriate for him that the younger kids don't need to do. So we do schoolwork until about lunchtime, and then we have lunch, then after lunch is afternoon chores. And after they do their afternoon chores, which is stuff like pick them back in the living room, clean up their bathroom, that kind of thing, then they have free time. And free time is they can run around outside and do whatever they want. If they had a project they want to work on, they want to go play in the swings, that you know, anything that they want to go do, that's their time. Excuse me. That's their time to go do things. And the way that we have our chore time and our free time set up is they are the same time block. So if they want more free time, they just need to be quicker with their chores. If they mess around and they waste a lot of time and don't really get to doing their chores, then they have very little free time. But that's their choice and they know it. And so they've gotten a lot better about quickly completing their chores so they have lots of free time. So after free time in the afternoon, we have quiet time. And quiet time is basically where they are all in separate rooms. They're not playing with each other, they're all in separate rooms doing their own thing. If there's extra schoolwork pages they needed to do, that's a good time for them to complete those. It's a good time for them to sit quietly and listen to their MP3 players, read a book, play with Legos, just some some quiet activity that's for them to do that they're not going to go get bugged. It's for everybody to just kind of have a bit of, bit of a quiet house for a little bit. It's not perfect because I have a five-year-old, but we try. And that's also, <clears throat> that's also my time to get stuff done, is that quiet time. Free time, I don't have as much time because usually I'm trying to help the kids like, okay, let's get our chores done. And typically I'll go check on animal chores at that point and make sure that everybody still looks good from that morning. Um, make sure nobody forgot anybody and just kind of get things done there. And then the quiet time is when typically I will 
do filming or I will work on a crafting project or just do something for me that I was needing to do. Um, and I just really enjoy the quiet in the house. <laughs> it's not perfectly quiet, but a lot quieter than, you know, during the rest of the day. So after that, they have animal chores, evening animal chores, and while they're doing those, I usually start dinner. We have dinner, we clean up a little bit after dinner, and then the kids have free time until it's get ready for bedtime, and then at that point either I will read them a chapter or two out of a chapter book that we're reading all together, or maybe they'll get to watch an episode of something before bed, and then it's bedtime. Um, that doesn't mean that they all go to bed when they're supposed to. The boys are terrible about going to bed and going to sleep when they're supposed to. And Nara does great, but I think it's because she's in her own room. Anyway, so that's our basic daily schedule. That has really saved me so much trouble. I would like to make a basic schedule for our off-school season, and I just haven't done that right now. We are in off-school season because I had surgery and I just am not up for handling our full schedule, but it works really well. As I said, it's not super strict. If we have to go somewhere that day, then the rest of the schedule just doesn't get done. But by scheduling things out, at least in blocks like this, I know that there's an assigned time for things that are important to happen. And so those things generally do happen, even if it's not perfectly and the house isn't immaculate ever, it's maintained. And so that's really important to me. And then Saturdays, Kurt doesn't work. And so if we don't have to go somewhere, run errands as a family and, you know, the city that's like an hour and a half away then we typically do a lot of yard work cleaning animal pens things like that that typically happens on a saturday so that is by and large how we get anything done is we have a schedule and we also give ourselves lots of grace if the schedule's just not working that day if kids are fighting a lot if they're arguing if you know i'm not feeling well i've got a migraine or i'm just exhausted that day we will totally change the schedule up and say, okay, we're going to skip this block of time and pop right over to this block of time. Or you know what? Instead of worrying about getting your chores completely finished today, we're going to do quickie chores. We're going to time you for 10 minutes and you work your booties off for 10 minutes. And then you guys can go have free time and that's fine because I, you know, you need to go out in nature. So that's kind of how we handle that. Um, there's lots of other things that we do here and there um, with meal planning and things to try to get things done and, and make things easier to accomplish, but I think hands down that the best thing that we have used so far is having a schedule. As I said, we don't stick to it crazy, but it's nice to have. So, um, I think I've covered the highlights. I am going to go probably lay down because as I said, I'm still not feeling awesome. <laughs> Uh, I really appreciate being included in this collaboration. I will link the play playlist below to go see the other participants, and I will also link to Sweet Pea Farm and Wise um, YouTube channel. I really hope I remember to say her name correctly because I read it before I came down here, but um, yeah. So, hope you guys have a really wonderful Mother's Day. I'll talk to you later. Bye.